Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Training. In the last lecture, we have learned about how to download the browser driver and we have successfully invoked the browser. Now, in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how you can run your first Selenium test and also I'll be going through some of the basic methods of the web driver. So, let's get started. If you know about these two lines, these two lines are basically for invoking your Chrome browser. If you want to run any script, you have to mention these two lines to invoke a Chrome browser. And let's move further. There are some uh, basic web driver methods that are used to run our script. So here we have created one object, namely driver. So we will be using this driver to get our work done. Driver.get. Here you can enter your command where you want to go. Suppose I'll be going to the google.com. And let's save it and let's run it. Yes, you have successfully run your first Google Chrome test and it was simple going to a website. You see here it is a small screen if you want to enlarge the screen. So there is another command for that that is driver dot. You can easily find some of the options available here. You do not uh, want to memorize the things go to manage and dot here which uh, method uh, like is the best expected let's let's look from let's scroll down and look them it's window all right window dot maximize it's here now if you run the test you will see the uh, screen in the full uh, full size okay All right, guys, this is beauty of Selenium. That's why Selenium is a most widely used tool. All right, let's move further. You see here, some of the browsers are gathering. I want to close each and every browser while the execution is going on. Okay, we can also do that. We have a command for that driver.close. Now, if you run this test, it will close the driver once the uh, execution is completed. You see this driver has been closed let me remove these two browsers also all right some other methods available in web driver are suppose this is your google chrome and you want to get the current url or you want to get the title bar name we can do that easily in selenium how we have a command for that driver dot get title so to get the title this command is used to get the title of web page sorry all right but you want to print in you want to print it uh, out then this is out sorry guys all right now uh, with the help of this command you can easily get the title of the page I want to also get the current URL. How can we get that? Get current URL. All right, guys. Let's let's print it in the console. All right. I'm using this system dot outer print Alan because I want to print it out in the console. I'm writing in the comment solo get current URL. All right, guys. Let's run this test. Chrome has started successfully. Screen has maximized. Maximized. Yeah. Here you can see you are having the title of Google and the current URL. Let me let me comment this command because I want to show you that same title is on the web page also. Let me run it again. You see the title name is Google and the same name is printed in here in the console and we are having the url also now suppose for example you don't want to use driver.get there is another command you can use driver.navigate. and here you can uh, enter the website 
I'll copy this. This time we will go to facebook.com. Double Facebook. All right. Let's run it. You see, we will see is it running or not. Chrome has started successfully. We are having some issues. Yeah. Yes, yes. I want to give you one more. Uh, it's good we got an exception. Here we got an invalid argument exception. Do you know why? Because we haven't mentioned the prefix of any website. Here we have mentioned HTTPS, but here we haven't mentioned. This is one of the interview questions that is asked and has been asked also in earlier times. So if we if we doesn't provide it the prefix, it will not execute the script. It will give it an error. It's good that it came. Let's run it again. Chrome has started successfully. Now this time you see we are on the Facebook.com website. And you are getting the text and the URL. All right, guys, in the upcoming lectures, I will be discussing what is the difference between driver.get and driver.navigate to. If both the commands are doing the same thing, then what is the difference? When you work on real time projects, at that time, you'll get a better understanding of this. So at the earlier stage, you remember just the, the two are doing the same thing. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing and share the link among your friends. Selenium is the next big thing that's going to happen in the coming time. If you are facing any issues, please mention in the comments. Thank you and stay updated.